So if you've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! or any other card game in general, you're no stranger to pack opening. And it's a process that pretty much every Yu-Gi-Oh! player has done, whether it be opening individual packs or whether you've opened the booster box. And just like many players, I've opened my fair share of booster boxes and packs. But just like anything, buyers need to be aware of what they're buying. And I was brutally reminded of this fact when I was scammed back when I was buying a Yu-Gi-Oh! Flames of Destruction booster box. So this was about 3 years ago and I didn't quite have the time at my locals to go and buy it. So I pretty much decided to order the booster box online. And shortly after this, I found myself looking on Amazon since there were tons of great prices at the time. And I found a box of Flames of Destruction for a good bargain. It wasn't too good to be true, but it was a good deal nonetheless. So I thought to myself, should I buy it? I had never really bought a Yu-Gi-Oh product from Amazon before, and I certainly haven't bought a product like this from some place like eBay either. So I was initially hesitant since I haven't really gone through this process, especially since I hadn't really bought products like this over online before. I had only really bought products like this through my locals, or through very reputable stores like Target or Walmart online. But despite being a little reluctant, I recognized the seller, and I thought, it should be all good. I've seen this seller for a bit, so I can trust the listing. And oh boy was I wrong. I was very wrong indeed. So I went ahead and I bought the booster box despite my instinct warning me. I went ahead with it since I had mostly seen positive results with online Yu-Gi-Oh products at the time. So I said, what the heck. It was around the time of my birthday and I wanted to get some great pulls from this set. So the deal was done and I wound up ordering two boxes, which costed me a great deal of money despite the good price. And in no time the product arrived fairly quickly, which had me pumped to open this new set. So I picked up the box from my porch, where I then took the box inside and I could open it. I opened up the cardboard box which contained two booster boxes and I immediately noticed that something was off. And I immediately noticed that there was something weird about the shrink wrap that was wrapped around the two boxes. The wrapping was on too tight, and regular Konami sealed boxes were wrapped tightly, but instead they had some wiggle room at least. I also noticed that the wrapping didn't have the faint Konami logo that was usually present on the sealed boxes, which, you know, was weird. So, despite being suspicious, I mostly brushed it off and I proceeded to open the first box. And while I was opening the box, I had previously been aware that some people searched packs for hollows, and then they resealed the box in general so that it could be resold. And I wondered, could this be the same case with this whole booster box, or even the other one I got? So despite the warning signs, I had managed to open the first box while hoping this product hadn't been tampered with. And to my dismay, I pry open the box and I noticed the disheveled look of the packs. They seemed to be really baggy, and I inspected them further only to find a huge tear at the side of the pack. It had looked like someone had opened them up from the side with a scissor or a knife. And my heart immediately sank. I realized that I had been deceived. I sifted through the first pack only to find no hollow, and I eventually looked through the rest of the packs and I realized it was the same case for every pack. I hadn't just been deceived, I had been scammed. And to add insult to injury, they didn't even leave a rare in each pack. So someone had actually managed to pull a banded Keith on me, and they actually managed to give me a box with searched packs. So I then immediately looked up the order and the listing details wondering if I had missed anything. I had looked up the info beforehand, and the condition said it was supposed to be a new and sealed box, but perhaps I had missed something. However, the details were exactly as I had expected, and the product I was receiving was supposed to be a new sealed booster box set. And although the listing was technically right about being sealed, the seller couldn't have listed the box as new since the box had been searched. So, it was deceit by omitting certain details. But just to be charitable, maybe this was a mistake. The product was listed as a little cheaper than the average box at the time, 
and maybe the seller was selling cards in bulk and he forgot to change the details accordingly. But even then, the price wasn't cheap enough to warrant buying a box with no hollows, so it was still a ripoff. However, it still didn't excuse the fact that the lister didn't list the correct details. The boxes were listed under new in Amazon's search filters, so this whole situation left me completely bothered because of it, and I immediately went to Amazon support so that I could get a refund. I didn't bother reaching out to the seller since this was such a gross situation and it was a blatant disregard for the details. So a long story short, I was able to get my money back, but I had to send the product back to the seller, which was annoying since I had to take time out of my day to package the items and ship them off. So it was incredibly frustrating to say the least, but luckily I got free shipping. I made sure to put everything back the way it was so there wasn't any further issue, and I shipped it off. Thankfully, the product was successfully returned, and I could finally put all of this behind me. However, I looked back and saw the reviews for this listing, and I saw a bunch of reviewers complaining about the same thing I had experienced. And in fact, there were multiple people ripping this listing apart, and they were basically calling it a scam. But in total honesty, I should have done further due diligence, and I should have checked the reviews first, and I probably should have gotten the box from TCG Player instead. So the moral of the story is, do your own research and pay close attention to what you're buying since listings can contain incorrect details or could just be scams in themselves, and you could potentially land yourself in a situation like mine. But that's pretty much been my story on how I got scammed, and hopefully it prevents someone else from getting scammed as well. But with that, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you would like to support more content like this, you can do so via donation on my Cash App. I need to resolve some issues with my Patreon, but I still post on there, and you can still catch my content on that same page. But for the meantime, you can help me out on Cash App by finding me at the Necromancer1040 Cash App tag. And with that, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, take care.